first idea that I ever had was when I was four years old and I wanted to make pockets for the wall. That was not a successful product at all or a successful execution. They would fall off because they were just scotch tape. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2010 99% Conference. The 99% was originally inspired by Edison's famous quote, the genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. 99% is a conference about making ideas happen. So we asked our speakers to focus on how they've executed the different accomplishments that they're known for. There's one thing that I want you to take away from this talk. It's is that there are many, many, many ways to be an entrepreneur. And I don't want people to get caught up in these iconic ideas about what entrepreneurship has to be. And if we were only using the language, whatever the sort of language of our industry was at that moment, to describe what the strategy was, we were never going to develop a strategy that actually made sense. So I felt like a lot of speakers like really opened up their little Pandora's box and, and gave us a little insight in, into their process. One of the most important things to start doing is to start drawing your idea, to start getting, getting it out of your head and seeing it from a completely different perspective. A lot of the speeches that we're seeing today are best practices and best use cases and what has worked and what hasn't worked. And I think the most exciting thing for anyone, even though it's very scary, is to share their mistakes so other people can learn. Before I launched my company, I actually did research and built relationships for nine years. I actually think 99% Conference does a great job of with their focus of actually talking about what it takes to actually do an idea, and then getting to the meat of it. It's more about what it really takes to make this stuff happen. I think the conference is important because it focuses on creative execution, and people who are creative are usually dubbed as not able to finish. So I think in this economy, we're looking for people that can finish. So this conference gives people tools. If you don't really know how to use the tools, and you don't know the various ways how to get somewhere, you can't even come up with the proper ideas in that direction. The second day is entirely experiential. Conference participants can really get a little more hands-on. And it's really helpful to people when they're sitting for one day and they get inspired or something really starts to gel inside them and then yet have the opportunity then for another day and some of the same people are around to actually then talk with, engage with, interact with and start collaborating on some ideas. The first idea I ever had to make a candy store in my basement, probably nine years old, and I knew I had a customer base, and I knew I had demand, and I was like, let's do it. The defining nature of the human being is that we have the capacity to pause and reflect. I'm very grateful for just the human level. It's very nice just to be in a group of real warm human beings.